Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yo, man, I would just want to say thank you, man, for stopping by. Thank you for taking your, your time to click on here and uh, educate yourself on a little bit of whatever um, medical information I have for you today, careers, um, just motivational stuff I drop, you know. And then the thing, man, my channel is to help you guys, you know, out there make the best decision for you possible, not just for right now, but for the future. You know, I don't want you to get into a career that you don't know anything about, knowing that there's information that is myself, my channel, that will help you make that possible choice to um, to take that next step, you know, to actually probably take it and go do it. So um, if you're new here or you've been here before and you haven't done it already, please consider subscribing to my channel. A lot of valuable information on here that you will not find in another channel because I, I break it down for you as I see it because I've seen a lot of things, you know, going down in the hospital setting, outpatient center. I've been in the medical field for over 12 years and I enjoy what I do. But if I knew more information as as what I'm trying to give you guys, I probably would have been, I probably made a different route and I probably wouldn't. But it would, have been, it would have been nice to have this kind of information, this kind of content out there for me to, to research and be like, oh, you know, who's out there giving me the real information on a career? You know, most most channels you go and you see a career and like, oh, just throwing a career out there. Oh, be a teacher. Oh, yeah, be a great teacher because, or be a teacher because it's awesome hours, weekends off, all this. But they don't really tell you the ins and outs of the field. You know, got to deal with kids all day, which is not bad, but... You got to deal with kids all day, their attitudes, their parents, you know, so it's a lot on the field. You know, I'm not saying it's a bad career, but if you have a, a real teacher um, give you the real ins and outs of the profession, then you might think about it a little bit. Like, I don't know if I want to go for it or I, I, I'm still interested. Um, and that's why I come in, in the medical field. I've been in the medical field for a long time, so I want to give you the true information on any certain field you decide to go into. So it's really, really valuable information. So like I said, um, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I drop a video. But most importantly, to be honest, I need you to like the video. If you like the video, it helps my channel because it tells YouTube that, hey, they like his content, he's reaching a lot of people, he's giving valuable information. So they themselves will recommend me to other people that are looking for information just as you guys, you know what I mean? So please, please, please do me that favor. Anyway, today we're gonna to talk about this, this, do you know what that is? I'm gonna tell you. So man, this is intervention, it's called interventional radiology. Interventional radiology is um, a, radi a radiology department that uh, specializes in invasive and therapeutic procedures. Um, invasive um, as far as like stroke management, um, which stroke uh, looks like this and like that. So these two images show a stroke management and uh, it's crazy, you know, so I'm gonna tell you a story. So um, I didn't work Thanksgiving, but I worked after Thanksgiving, which is, you know, Friday. Yeah, it was Friday. So Friday and Saturday, the 25th, was it the 25th? Uh, whatever Thanksgiving, Friday and Saturday, right? After Thanksgiving. We had, I ain't gonna lie to you, we had at least 15 stroke alert patients come in. And I was like, what the heck? So the IR team was like this, in and out, in and out. And they were saying that the strokes were caused by uh, a lot, a lot of amount of sodium, like salt intake on older patients. I guess if they didn't know they had heart issues or they did have heart issues, they kind of like took it overboard. Um, maybe had a little bit too much um, alcoholic beverages too. So no lie, man, the IR team was here nonstop for two days, just like back to back to back. You know, so um, they deal with that. They also deal with um, carotid stents which is in your carotid artery, which is here. So it's this right here. And then it looks like this. It's kind of cool, right? It's cool what you could do with, um, with IR, man. It's, it's so, um, it's just so awesome because they deal with the newest, the newest equipment coming out. And, um, and you always work in the hospital. They're always like, it's, it's, it's a good career. I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, they also do um, balloon and angioplasties for um, peripheral like disease and stuff, and uh, they look that looks like this and like that. So that's the kind of there's trust me, there's way way more things that they deal with, but I, I can't name them all because I'll be in here for let be like a three hour video. You know what I'm saying? I just trying to give you like a little breakdown. Eventually, I make a little video on each one and what each procedure does. Uh, that way you can kind of get a better understanding of, you know, um, the overall IR department. But an IR team is consisted of mostly three to four people. 
So you need an interventional radiologist, which is a radiologist that reads the images, but has a little bit more education to do invasive procedures. Um, you need a, um, re a registered, like myself, registered radiology tech that, to help maneuver the equipment. Then you need an RN, which is a nurse, not a nurse practitioner. Well, you need to know that that one too, but you need an RN to see the, to make sure that the doc, the patient's getting the, the correct medication, you know, checks the vital signs, things of that nature. And sometimes an interventional radiologist has his help, which is a PA or an MP. So PA is a physician assistant or an MP, which is a nurse practitioner. So that's a team that, that makes um, the IR team. If I'm missing somebody, I apologize. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, so that's the, and you need a team, man. That's a team. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's what makes everything happen. Um, so now one thing is like, is it worth getting into um, IR, right? So the question, the the answer to me, right? IR is super cool. It's super cool um, to work in the latest equipment. It's, it's nice to have the team. That team you're always gonna work with. Um, so the group of five, six, whatever people are in that group, that's going to be your group. That That's that true crew. That's your ride or die. You know what I'm saying? But the only problem with IR in some places is that they're on call so much. Like, they're basically on call seven days a week. Like, if your team, if that team, I think you go on vacation together. <laughs> Not together, but you'll go, you'll go on vacation at the same time. Yeah, come back at the same time. That's your team. You know, so... Um, if you're on call, all they are gonna like get together and, and come to that procedure, whatever it is, whatever it is, and they also deal with a lot of radiation. So that's two things to think about. You know, if you ever deciding into IR, it's a lot of call, and you have to deal with a lot of radiation because it's not as consistent. Like, you know, I've never been in there, but from what I from what I know, they're always in there, and when they're in there, there's just it's, it's just busy, man. You know, and it's and it's such an intense environment. That sometimes a radiologist can be a little on the mean side you know what i'm saying a lot of people like to say other words you know but they can be on the mean side because they're so frustrated they're so like um sleep deprived they're so like they're stressed out man you know it's a stressful environment but at the end of the day it just makes it worth it man because you save somebody's life and it's just the rush you know it's the adrenaline rush of being in the ir room knowing that this this patient lies on your hands you know whether he's gonna make it or not or she you know and then it, it's 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 intense you know so that's it, and this video is just like a like a little breakdown now the most important thing which i think is the most important thing but you know it's, it's really important right if you're gonna go through all that now to um well before i tell you salary let me tell you how to get there so you have to um obviously be a radiology technologist so you have to be a rt certified and in order to be an IR tech, um, I think most places can cross train. Like if you're interested in it, you just tell your director like, hey, I'm really interested in IR. How can I get my hands in there? How can I be part of a team? And 99% of the time, man, they'll let you because they always need they always need techs, you know, because they're just like, you know, everybody's hurting for, for technologists right now for any kind of medical help. So they'll cross train you. So they'll help you, you know, do what you gotta do in there, you know, get all your exams done or whatever. And then you can also sit for a registry by AART to become interventional, interventional radiology certified. So um, that you can cross train at work, which is super cool. I think that's super dope, you know, to be able to cross train at work and get paid to learn. Like who, want, who would wanna do that? But, you know, like I said, it comes with a lot of, you know, a lot of call, a lot of radiation, but you know, it is what it is, right? If you enjoy that. Now, the salary, though. The salary. What? Yo, so radiology does radiology. So interventional radiology techs, from the research I, I, I did, they start at 80K, 80 to 85K a year. That's not counting being on call. That's not counting when you come in after being on call. You get time and a half. Um, so it's a lot of perks. So, at IR Tech can possibly make close to to 100, 100 and something k, 105k a year, maybe more. Depends, man. You know, it depends like how busy your hospital is, how busy your team is, how many times did they call you in. There's money, man. There's really a lot of money to be made in IR. I think a lot of techs do it for like two, three years, two, three, four years the most, just to make that kind of chunk, that chunk of money, and and then they kind of like go into something a little bit like more. 
um, tolerable, like a regular a regular tech, or they're probably getting to MRI or CT or something like that. But um, the salary is crazy, man. You can make crazy money in IR. But um, like I said, guys, um, I hope that this helped you. Um, for everybody that stayed to the end, I appreciate it. I know it's a lot of a lot of um, information at once, and it's kind of hard to to sit and and just like hear somebody talk. But um, thank you guys for watching. Always stay tuned. There's more to come.